All right, what's going on, everyone? I'm gonna be recording this on my phone, so sorry this gets um, shaky. I literally set all the settings as best as I could to a setting where I could make sure it's as least shaky as possible, but it's probably still shaky, to be honest. But in this video, I'm gonna be giving you a garden tour. We're gonna give you an update on everything. See how life's been going around here. Let's get into it. Starting off down here in the main yard, we have the road of Dendron Bush. It has finally came in, usually around Memorial Day weekend. Some of them come in like a way earlier than this, like two weekends before. Back when I used to live in Southern Connecticut, we had them come in like two weekends before this. But do you see this? This is pretty crazy. <clears throat> These flowers, as you can see, there's bumblebees pollinating it all. It's pretty cool. Some of them are still coming up like this one, but I bet you that by probably tomorrow evening, I'll be able to have all of them up. Now moving over to the bottom portion of the yard over here, you can see that we have all these flowers that are coming in over here. I don't know what these are, to be honest. These right here, I've had these and keep in mind, I'm about six foot and these are around like maybe five, six, five, five. I'm more like five, seven or five, eight, but you never know. <clears throat> you never know until you actually measure them. These flowers over here are looking nice though. We didn't plant these, these are weeds. We planted these three bushes here, these one, two, three bushes. These are not weeds, but these are weeds, we did not plant these. These came pre-installed, I guess. These are those flowers that like when you move into a house, if you ever like buy your own place or you're moving into a place if you don't own your own place and you're still living with family, they move to a new place, you'll see these flowers pretty much pre-installed everywhere if you're moving into the Northeast. Lilac bush has died back a little bit, but you see those white flowers down there that I showed you last Monday. Sorry, this is on a Tuesday. I could not get my phone to work yesterday to record anything, so <clears throat> I'll be able to record today at least. Now you might be wondering, where are the potatoes? Why haven't you planted them yet? Oh, we're gonna be planting this week. There will be the potatoes, we do have it all, and you might be wondering what this stuff is here. Why are there outlets and all that electrical type stuff? Well, we're actually renovating our upstairs. It might sound crazy, but <clears throat> We are renovating the upstairs. It's been pretty badly damaged. You can already tell this is a pretty old house. But the siding, the siding was done back in the 70s, but they did something wrong with it. The first floor is all right. The first floor is in decent condition. When we first moved in here, all we had to do was paint the walls and we were good to go. Maybe uh, modify the heating system just a bit, get a new boiler in there, but we still have some pretty old 1940s radiators and they look pretty nice. The second floor, however, is a different story. The second floor, yeah, there's, we ripped out all the framing and stuff like that. We're ripping up the floors. Keep in mind, as you can tell, 1820s home here, so all the floors are like uneven and stuff. So I'm gonna tell you a quick little story while I'll show you the mint right over here. So I was just chilling, right? We just ripped out the carpet in my room because my cat decided to take a piss on my carpet. So I had to get it replaced. And while the floor was there, because there's no traction keeping the my office chair from rolling backwards, my room has the biggest slope. Like there's one point where the floor is like literally two inches higher than my actual desk. The bait, not the, like the actual desk, like the actual like base of the floor. There's like a small area. So like my chair kept rolling backwards and like I'd sometimes like just be chilling and it'll be rolling backwards. So it's crazy. Now where's the real garden I hear you asking? Let me show you. All right, so we still haven't yet transplanted. I'll show you the real garden in just a minute. We did actually get some gardening work done in here since last week. Over the Memorial Day weekend holiday, what we did was we dug up a broken post and replaced it. We added some new strawberries. They're actually producing now, and so are the weeds, sadly. Um, but you can see we actually planted some new ones here. This one has two rows of it, and this one just has one. <clears throat> but you can see they're coming up pretty nice. I mean, these are just roots on Saturday. We got these as just starts. But because they were in our basement, which is, as you know, most basements, most basements are pretty moisturized. It had a little bit of a head start, I'd say. So I'd say we need to cover up these blueberries ASAP because do you see this man? This is an oasis of blueberries. See this blue, they're becoming blue, like like teal blue kind of, I don't know what, I don't even know what color that is to be honest, I'm just making up colors. But look at all these blueberries. These aren't flowers, these are actual blueberries by the way. So. I really hope those birds don't get into here, or worse yet, the bugs. The bugs are the biggest pains. We're also about to put down the weed block tonight, hopefully. <clears throat> By the time I do the next garden tour, which will probably be next Monday, or maybe even earlier than that, I'll probably be able to show you the real garden inside edition over here. <clears throat> so you can see this is where, as I always say, 
Sunflowers going right on the end here. We have the trellis right here. We're gonna put cherry tomatoes on like a quarter of it and the last three quarter more like 40% of it's gonna be cherry tomatoes and 60% will be cucumbers, either a straight A or I don't remember what the other variety was. Right over here though, is where we're gonna have zucchini, eggplants. We're gonna have like four eggplants because those seem to be the least popular ones when it comes down to selling them. Zucchini, the people love that. Green beans, people absolutely love that. And then back here we'll have some gourds on a trellis. Of course we need the trellises, by the way. And then right up here, what we're also going to need <clears throat> is we're going to need these over here. Some of you guys actually commented last summer asking why there's random holes here that don't have anything in it. Well, because this summer we're going to put some watermelon there. Zone 6B, if you're wondering. Tomatoes and peppers all along here. Tomatoes make up like 50% of the garden, you know. Like, you cannot go wrong with some good old tomatoes. Those are the fan favorites. People, when they stop up over here, either when they're taking a road trip, they want to go get some fresh produce, or they're locals stopping right down there to get some produce they'll love the tomatoes those ones can easily generate you at 50 dollars a day i'm just saying so i'm about to show you the real garden right now almost a rat garden tour like transitions kind of like like i'll be in one area then i'll go to the next area and to be honest with you you are not wrong for pointing that out if you have let's show you this right here so this morning i noted when i was waiting for the bus this morning it was like 5 45 i noted these coming in right here there is sadly no broccoli I messed up, but next, but we will still have them. We're just gonna start them in the ground so we get more life out of them. They come up really quickly. Like I'm talking by like, like I'm talking I could plant them and by the next Tuesday, there'll be some of them in there. They'll be nice and ready. These are the squash right there. Not squash, the zucchini. The zucchini we replanted. See this cucumber? This is literally almost ready for harvest. I bet that probably by like Thursday, I bet I could probably do that harvest. Like. I really want to get back into live stream. I'm going to try vertical streaming for a little bit because vertical stream is pretty fun, not going to lie. It's pretty fun to just sit back and really do nothing and like get like 200 views. It doesn't generate a whole lot of watch hours, but hey, I could try. I mean, I could really try. But we did plant corn like two weeks ago. Fortunately, it was right after that one night we had where it was 36 degrees, so we're all good to go. So I'm going to go up there right now. I'm going to go and see what's going on there in the patch. I didn't check last week, but this week I'm gonna check. So let's go. We have to traverse, I'd say about a quarter mile uphill. It's not that bad, bro, I can handle that. I do a six mile jog every other day and I do some pretty heavy workouts. I could do this just fine. We're about to go do a hay harvest probably by next week is my guesstimation, but don't quote me on that because I don't know. I do see some corn though. Uh, I'm gonna look and see which one's corn and which ones are weeds because I feel like there's tons of plants that like to hit, take a similar formation to corn. However, they aren't really corn, but rather just carbon copies of corn that are made to fool you. These are just grass, those aren't corn. I planted them like two weeks ago. Oh, you know what, they're down there, bro. I am not of the smartest, it looks like. No wonder I got a 70 on my chemistry test earlier today. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it didn't go too smooth. I'd, I'm actually surprised it was a 70, not like a 42. I did study for it though, so. I mean, I did better than I expected, so I do see corn in here. Look at that, what do you know? I see some sprouts, not a lot, but a few, nothing to write home about. But for this time of year, it's looking pretty nice. Corn, corn, let's see, can I find another one? Corn, right around here, not the grass. It looks something like this. It's a little early to see some sprouts, but hey, we're, we're, we're getting there. I think we'll be able to get there soon. Hopefully soon. That's the goal. So yeah, hope you all enjoy these garden tours, man. I'm trying to do more of these. I'm trying to get up to the 4K hours and 4K subs by, as I said, July. I prefer my birthday, but I'm gonna extend it by a few days because I'm chill like that. And if I don't reach 4K by then, then nothing's gonna happen. I'm, I'm not gonna be like one of those YouTubers that'll shove it down your throat. Oh, like and subscribe like every three seconds now. I said I'll occasionally tell you to like and subscribe if it's like a bigger video, but for the most part, it's just me saying uh, like like and subscribe if you want to. But I'm just chill like that. So I'd say yeah, like and subscribe so I can make some better videos. We're trying to reach 4K hours soon. Let's go.